So welcome back to the Ravenna booth here at IBC 2023. Uh, my name is Andreas Hildrun, I'm with the Ravenna team and in this short video I'd like to introduce you about some new and featured products which are on display here uh, at the Ravenna booth. So first of all let's have a look at the uh, Ravenna rack which uh, features a number of products most of them you already know um, and we have a few changes or additions to the Ravenna rack. Let me start top to bottom the first thing uh, we added is the uh, Thailine Gateway Codec. Uh, Thailine is a training company and they are producing a very powerful uh, DSP uh, based uh, codecs for transporting audio from studio to transmitters and other places uh, in the world. So Thailine Audio uh, Gateway. Then uh, we have down here the brand new Qubit Q9X series, which is another codec, which features the sophisticated Fraunhofer codec. And it also has a very nice Ravenna implementation uh, with lots of features like silence detection uh, and play out from file. If uh, the input signal is missing, you can have an emergency file stored and that's automatically being played out into the uh, codec side of things. Below the uh, Qubit codec is uh, the brand new Glen Sound Vittoria which is a Dante Ravenna bridge. So some people prefer instead of having Dante and Ravenna running uh, on combined AS67 mode, they uh, prefer to have them physically separated. And that's a good fit for devices like the Glen Sound Vittoria because it physically separates the Dante network from the Ravenna network. Next, uh, I'd like to um, have a few words on the products we have connected to the rack, but on the table. First of all, you'll see a new product introduced by Neumann. And if you're curious about the similarity to the product just sitting next to it, the Merging Anubis, well, you have heard that uh, Merging uh, is now part of the Sennheiser Neumann Group. And so Neumann took the fantastic technology from Merging and produced their own MT48 audio interface with an addition of an USB 3.0 interface for studio monitor control. Anubis is already been introduced earlier, but uh, they built new missions, so it's getting even more versatile now. Um, you already know the uh, Xbox from Direct Out. Just behind uh, the Xbox, you'll find a new desktop switch from Netgear. It's part of the MAV Pro series. In this case, it's uh, 10 port M4250. Uh, and that fits very nicely with its transparent clock feature into a Ravenna uh, system. Well, next uh, is the um, Lavo mixing desk, the Diamond, which also has uh, received um, a slight uh, brush up, particularly the processing engine, the power core, has a new, more powerful, versatile firmware. Then, of course, we had introduced the RME DigiFace Ravenna last year. It was not connected to the rack. If you want to see how easy it actually is to connect a Ravenna DigiFace to a Ravenna network, just watch our other videos uh, where I unboxed a Ravenna, uh, a DigiFace Ravenna and uh, connected it to our lab network. So that's it for the devices which are connected to our live demo system. Now let's move over to the uh, product shelves where we have the very new and featured products on display for you. So we are here at the uh, shelves with the new products. I'm trying to find a nice spot between the uh, KH150 Wunderkind, which of course is also connected to our Ravenna rack. Yeah, let's have a look on uh, new and featured products uh, over here. Let's start uh, top left. Uh, AVT is introducing their Magic DAB Max Plus monitor decoder. So that's um, another DVB uh, multiplexer and codec, and it holds. Uh, it incorporates some a nice uh, monitoring features where you can monitor quite a number of uh, channels on uh, the Ravenna side of things. Direct now is introducing the uh, Prodigy MX, they call it the third wish. And apparently they didn't get enough of those new devices. That's why we are not having it here. So people need to go over to the Direct Out booth and I'm pretty sure Direct Out will present that new brand new product as the third wish in another product video, which you can see on our channel here. So that's uh, a direct out. Next is uh, IATA, our friends uh, from France have uh, introduced a half-size rack mount codec, the Scoop 6, uh, which features 3G, 4G, 5G integrated codecs. Um, and they also introduced a docking station for the Scoopy Flex. This is brand new for the show, the Scoopy Flex itself, uh, which is a uh, Sportage codec commentary unit has been introduced a year ago. Next to this is the very brand new 
uh, Qubit Carrion Pro. Some people may remember the small, tiny Carrions, uh, which basically are I.O., single channel or dual channel I.O. units with headphone monitoring. Now the Carrion Pro actually has a microphone input, headphone output, a display where you can select the channels you want to listen to. And it has uh, analog and digital I.O. and a dual redundant interface on the back. So that really receives uh, the add-on Pro uh, with the name. Uh, not new, but just featured again, is the uh, RTW TM7 and also TM9 Ravenna monitor. So you can monitor Ravenna channels directly uh, on the network with those nice uh, monitoring units. And we also finally have the uh, 2WCOM IP4C audio codec uh, from our friends uh, in the north of Germany. Also not new, but again, a very, very nice solid build and fantastically working product. So that's about what you can see here. Just a final um, hint. We also have a Ravenna partner H7R again on my left side, and they are introducing their um, Streamer++ application, which is a Linux, Windows and Linux-based sound card, which can now also run on cloud-based environment. Uh, and I'm sure that you'll find more information about H7R Streamer++ on the Ravenna website. Thank you very much.